It amazes me that after everything you've been through, all of the anguish, the trauma, the pain and everything else, you still have an ambition to do something extraordinary in cycling. At the moment, it seems you are preoccupied with breaking this human-powered land speed record. And just in brief, why? What does that mean to you? Why? Because it's there. It's not even a choice in this. One, I still have the engines are not bad, Nick. Um, <laughs> Secondly, it's there, and I've had the idea of how to do this, the actual mechanics, the, 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 bi the biomechanical engineering of it, and the design of the bike, I've had it in my head for 10 years, and you know what, um, I'm getting older and I can do it, so the choice is go and do it or face regret. So it's not even a choice issue. I'm going to have to go and do this, and I'm going to go that, that road fast, oh. and it's going to be fun. And when you say fast, what speed do you believe your engine, as you put it, your body can take a bike, a very special bike, but a bike nonetheless. What is the top speed you can get to? Well, the world record at the moment is 83 miles an hour, flat road, no assistance. I, I would like to think I would give that a good, a good shake. Not saying I'll break it, and I would love to be the first man to do over 100 miles an hour. That's, that's my dream. I, I might fall flat, I don't know, but, I'd, well, I won't, because I know that I'm going to fly up that road really, really fast. Well, I promise you, if you break 100 miles an hour, we insist you come back into the hard talk chair, but for now... Graham the singed Aubrey. eyebrows. <laughs> Graham Aubrey, thanks Thank for you being very much. hard talk.